Rocky Rogers at this point in the match. Well, this is a perfect example about what I was talking about. Goldie's going to take the pace in this match right now. He's thinking about what he's going to do next. And, and in the meantime, he's got a great looking chin lock on Jason Anderson. Ed, do you remember when you were talking about Pat O'Connor? Do you remember when we had Billy Watson, Kaniski, John Paul Henning, and the Flanagans and all that group out here? Man, we had some big audiences in the uh, ring and uh, and the outside of the ring. I mean, they used to have tag team, triple tag teams, and what matches we had. And we'd get some future stars here that are going to be the same as those fellas. Well, that's where fan fantasy comes in as far as I'm concerned. We're, we're getting more cards and letters in that box week after week here at the Silver Dollar. And we encourage anybody to drop by here and check out the CNWA and just drop us a line on who you'd like to see step into the squared circle because I'll tell you, there's some stars all over the country as well as even in the United States and international stars like guys like Ben K. Sasaki that are here. And, you know, what more? what's more important than having the fans' input, Ed? I like that angle. I certainly do. We'll do something about that, I don't know, four or five weeks down the line. And it will not be Ed Whalen in the ring. <laughs> or myself, if I can. Oh, you're fine, Joe. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. You're roughly 50 years younger than me, you know. <laughs> roughly. Well, Ed, as long as you're behind me, I don't care if it's at the desk or in my corner, as long as I know I got you near. <laughs> Because when you're not here, it's usually somebody else. Lucky enough, I had Frank with me last week. All right. Right back to that chin lock is Goldie Rogers. And I'll tell you, he's controlled this match well, I guess, at about the, what, four or five minute mark, Ed? That's when it started to happen in there. And look at the head of Jason Anderson. It's beat red, so you know that Rogers is cutting off the circulation. And he takes a big knee now, does Jason Anderson. All right, I've just had a note from Frank that the Fan Fantasy winner will be announced next week. Is that right? Well, then what we're going to do is we have, we're going to draw, Ed, from all the suggestions, and two people will get tickets to the Ricky Skaggs dinner show that we're having here April the 7th. Right. So out of everybody's suggestions and ideas, including the one with you and Joe in there as the tag team or whatever, we will give two tickets to Ricky Skaggs. You think Bob Brown might have had anything to do with that one? The Fan Fantasy, Ed? Get rid of his boat? <laughs> you people in the Calgary area should be aware that next week at the Silver Dollar Action Center, a Wednesday night, free bus service will be available after the matches to the light rail transit uh, centers. Okay, free bus service to the light rail transit after the matches in Calgary Wednesday. Okay. Got him. Beautiful cross body block by Anderson, but he shook himself up. Well, he did on that one, and it's going to take a little bit more than that, I think. Uh, sure, it's a surprise to a guy like Goldie Rogers, but too much experience there to get a three count. Well, Goldie's right back on top of him. I think you're right, yes, Ed. I think Anderson might have hurt himself on that uh, cross body block, and, well, Rogers has been helping him out by uh, choking him over that top rope. Cover, one, two, that's all. Well, hey, isn't Jason Anderson showing something here? Goldie Rogers has been on top of him, and he's still kicking out. Sure, it was a two count, almost three. But, hey, this young guy knows a victory today over Goldie Rogers would definitely move him up the ladder. I love it to hear Goldie hollering, yes, 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 and the fans hollering, no, 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 and Anderson is right with them. So the fans and Anderson right at the moment are winning. Let's see what happens with that, with Anderson over Rogers here in a moment or two. Well, right now, he's, the arm drops twice. He holds it up there. Well, how, many, out. how many guys, you know, like you were calling Ron Ritchie the people's champion, Ed. You know, guys like Ron Ritchie will be able to tell you, Jason Anderson, the same thing. That adrenaline definitely gets pumping when you got the crowd behind you. You know, a lot of times you've seen a guy down and out like Jason Anderson there. I thought 
Goalie might have worn him down enough for a three count, and he started getting that arm going, the blood flowing again, and he had turned things around for a few seconds there, but Rogers, like a cat, he's on top of him again. Jason is going to score right now. It's kind of a tough lesson, I think. Well, goalie Rogers with a pin like that, and he's been around the game long enough to know you got to hook that leg if you want to really wrap him up. Well, Jorgen Herman's on top of the action tonight, Ed, definitely, you know, and believe it or not, Jorgen has been getting cheered by the crowd now and then uh, here in the CNWA. That's a bit of a change for him as well, isn't it? Yes, it is. He's, he's doing a good job. Last week, a little bit of controversy when he called the match that Ron Ritchie was uh, bleeding profusely from the forehead. He said that Ritchie couldn't continue on. Meanwhile, Ritchie had knocked out the Angel of Death. A lot of controversy in that one. And that's a question that I guess a lot of people are going to be talking about, whether or not the Angel of Death. I mean, we hope that there's nothing really wrong with a family, a member of anybody's family, even the Angel of Death. And if he says he's going to be here next week, hey, you know, I'm going to give him uh, the benefit of the doubt because that's one match I definitely won't want to miss, Richie and the Angel. I hope you're right. I hope he's here. I'm with you. I kind of think he'll be back. Anyway, I also believe in the Tooth Fairy. There you go. Beautiful clothesline. Oh, yes. The old guy's playing a tough, isn't he? And a two, and a, that's all. Definitely think uh, Goldie's ego's getting in the way here. He's not hooking that leg. He might have had this match won a while ago, but I don't... Oh, here we go. Duck under. And Close Anderson. Line. I don't know where he got the, uh, the steam to even uh, perform a clothesline of his own there, Ed. Just kind of a burst of energy in a desperate situation. He realizes he's in trouble. He finds the energy to throw a drop kick, but he seems to be hurting himself every time he does these things. Well, I think both of them are hurting a little bit here, and yet they're putting on a good show for us. They've got a good match all the way through. We're into the 15-minute mark, and look at the action we've got, and that's what we've been telling everybody's going to happen out here each and every Wednesday night at the Silver Dollar. Watch it now. He's going to pull him over. Suplex. Three minutes remaining. One. Three minutes. Two. At the 17-minute mark. 20-minute time limit. Nice body slam there. He's going up top, Ed. He's going to get up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. He hesitated too long. It allows the man on the mat to make a decision, unless he's out cold, and Goldie was not. You're absolutely right. Rookie mistake. There's the next breaker. This one might be all over, Ed. Cover one, two. It is, it is, it is. And Goldie Rogers adds to his friend.